The story of Jumping Mouse is a Native American folktale. Remember, folk tales were told orally and passed down from person to person. A folk tale is just one type of fiction. The character is who the story is about. The setting is where the story takes place. The plot is what happens in the story. So in the story of Jumping Mouse, who is the main character? Did you say Jumping Mouse? I hope you stated Jumping Mouse. What is the setting at the beginning of the story? Did you remember that the setting of the story was the brush near the sparkling river? What is the plot? Did you remember that the plot is where Jumping Mouse goes on a journey to a far off land? Listen carefully to the second half of the story about Jumping Mouse to find out how Jumping Mouse helps others and what lessons can be learned from folk tales. Sometime later, Jumping a Mouse arrived at the great grassy plain. There he found a bison laying forlornly or sad in the grass. Hello, bison, said Jumping Mouse. I am Jumping Mouse. Hello, Jumping Mouse. Please tell me how beautiful the sky looks today, said the bison sadly. Have you lost your sight? asked Jumping Mouse with compassion. When you have compassion, you want to help others when they are having a hard time. Yes, I am blind now, replied the bison. I don't know what I will do now that I cannot see. I am just an ordinary mouse, replied Jumping Mouse. But before I reach the great grassy plain, a magic frog gave me a new name. The frog named me Jumping Mouse. The name gave me extra strength in my legs. I will name you Eyes of a Mouse in the hope that you will regain their strength. Jumping Mouse hopes that the bison will be able to see again. No sooner had Jumping Mouse finished speaking when the bison exclaimed, I can see! At that very moment, Jumping Mouse realized that he could no longer see. And I cannot see, said Jumping Mouse. Why can't Jumping Mouse not see? Did you say that Jumping Mouse can't see because he gave his sight to the bison? Dear Jumping Mouse, said the bison, you have given me your eyes. I am so thankful. Let me do something for you. I am on my way to the far off land, exclaimed, explained Jumping Mouse. Though how will I get there now? I do not know. Come jump beneath my enormous hooves and I will guide you across the grassy plain to the high mountains said the bison gently. Enormous means very big. And with that, they set off. When they reached the high mountain, the bison bid farewell to Jumping Mouse. Jumping Mouse rested for a while and then began to climb the mountain. It was difficult, as Jumping Mouse could not easily tell which way to go. He sniffed the air and followed the scent of the pine. How might Jumping Mouse feel at this time? Did you say that maybe he feels sad? 
because he doesn't have his sight? Or maybe he's happy he made another animal be able to see. Jumping Mouse trod along on grass and rocks, but then he trod again, something that felt alarmingly like fur. Jumping Mouse sniffed the air again. Woof, he said in a frightened voice. Do not fear me, replied the wolf. For I am a very sad wolf. I have lost my sense of smell. I do not know how I will find food without it. My dear wolf, said Jumping Mouse, it may seem strange, but I gave the bison my sight. I will call you Nose of a Mouse, and we shall see what happened. No sooner had Jumping Mouse spoken these words, then the wolf sniffed the air and cried, I can smell you, Jumping Mouse, and other wonderful fragrances, or scents or smells as well. Thank you. I am so grateful. How can I repay you? I am on my way to the far-off land. I am brave, and I still have hope that I will get there, even though I can no longer see nor smell. Perhaps you can help me. I will help you, Jumping Mouse. Walk beneath my body, and I will lead you onward, said the wolf. Onward they went, until at last the wolf exclaimed, I can go no farther. We are at the top of the high mountain. I must bid you goodbye, my friend. And with that, the wolf retreated back down the mountainside. For the first time, Jumping Mouse felt fear. How could he get to the far-off land now that he could no longer see nor smell? A tiny tear drop fell to the ground. At that very moment, Jumping Mouse heard a familiar voice. Do not be fearful said the magic frog, for it was he. You could have misused my gift, but you did not. The word misuse means to have used incorrectly. Jumping Mouse could have used all of the magic for himself, but instead he shared it with others. Instead, you showed kindness and helped others on your journey. Jump high into the sky, my friend. Jumping Mouse hesitated for just a second, and then he jumped high into the sky. Immediately, he felt the air lift him up into the clouds. He felt the warmth of the sun on his back. He looked down and saw the beauty of the land beneath him. Jumping Mouse, said the magic frog, I am giving you a new name. It is Eagle. Fly away, my friend, and soar on to your new home in the far-off land. And that is exactly what Jumping Mouse did. What gift does Jumping Mouse give to the bison? Did you say that Jumping Mouse gives the bison his sense of sight? What does he name the bison? Did you remember it was Eyes of a Mouse? Jumping Mouse names the bison Eyes of a Mouse. What gift does Jumping Mouse give to the wolf? Did you say the sense of smell? Jumping Mouse gives the wolf his sense of smell. What does he name the wolf? Did you remember Nose of a Mouse? Jumping Mouse names the wolf Nose of a Mouse. What do these gifts tell you about Jumping Mouse? 
Is he kind or is he mean? Did you say that he was kind? Why did you think that he was kind? Did you just tell me because he gives a gift? People are kind when they give gifts. He gave away a sense of sight and away his sense of smell. Does Jumping Mouse care about others? Did you say yes? How do you know that he cares about others? You can tell that Mount Jumping Mouse cares about others because he gave up his sense of sight and his sense of smell to help other animals. He was compassionate and generous. How does the magic frog help Jumping Mouse at the end of the story? Did you remember that the magic frog turns Jumping Mouse into an eagle? Why do you think he turned him into an eagle? So that he could fly to a far off land? You are right. I hope you enjoyed the second part of our story of the jumping mouse.